Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chapman here. And on this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build a day one iron farm. Now this farm, I originally featured this farm over two and a half years ago. It's got, it's well over two and a half years ago. When I first did the raid farm, iron farm combo, and then again, when I did the crop farm, iron farm, raid farm combo. <coughs> and honestly, it's ridiculously easy. <laughs> The only thing we need to get this farm started is 14 logs and then three beds from the village that is around here. So you can see these guys are like wandering around. I've stolen their beds. Hopefully I didn't steal his. But all you need is the 14 logs, the crafting table and three beds. And the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to turn the logs into planks, make one set of sticks, and then we are going to need 12 signs in total. Once you have your 12 signs, you're going to make eight trap doors and then one single boat. And that is going to be used for the zombie and to get the villagers in place if we have to. The rest of the materials themselves come from below us and from the iron farm itself. I mean, if you want an off an iron golem right now in order to get a little bit of a head start, you could do that. All we need is one bucket. But bring your crafting table with you. And the first thing that we are going to do for this farm is we are going to carve out a nine by nine area. And once you have your 9x9 area done, all you're going to do is just come to the center of your 9x9 area and dig down seven blocks. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once you're seven down, we are going to place a trap door below us. And then any direction, it doesn't matter which one, we are going to dig out a 3x3 three three area that is seven blocks deep in total. So that is a 3x3 three by, three by seven blocks deep. At the end of this, we are going to dig out a 3x2L that is three blocks deep. And then we're going to remove these three blocks right here. Back at the trap door on this side, we are going to place down a bed in front of us with another bed to our left and to our right. We're going to place a temporary block above the forward pillow with a trap door above it. And then surround the rest of these beds with trap doors. You should have one left. From here, we are going to place down our crafting table and turn all of our cobblestone into slabs. In between the 3x3L and the beds, we are going to dig this down one more block. We are going to cover this all with slabs so that way this prevents any spawns from happening and stops the villagers from jumping out. We're going to cover the 3x2 area here with some slabs. We're going to jump up into the 3x2 area and at the end here, we are going to dig up all the way until the surface. And then to the left or to the right, it doesn't really matter. We are going to dig some stairs all the way back up to the surface and we are going to slab these stairs so that way no iron golems spawn anywhere except for that little platform in there. Once we're back at the surface here, we are going to come to the, one of the inside corners here and we are going to build up three blocks and then we are just going to come out five. Make that six. And then six blocks this way. And then we are just going to basically make like a little daughter board here that is three blocks above the ground. So that is what it should look like right there. And now depending on how fast or how slow you have done this, it's now officially time we got to get our villagers down inside that hole right there. So just get yourself your boat. Now three of these villagers, believe it or not, we have their beds. So all we should have to do is just technically get them close and they should link up. But this is literally, this is going to be... The longest part of the build right here is this. Oh, he's going for it. So that's one guy right there. Now we just got to get two more near so they can do the same thing. Okay, there's number two. And there goes villager number three. Now we're just going to confirm that these guys are all getting inside their beds. And they are in there. Now all we're going to do is we're going to jump up into this little three by two area here. We're going to take our boat. We're going to place our boat down, get in it, press F3 and B so that way we turn on our hitboxes and we are going to line our boat up with one of these little chunk things right here, one of these little pixel blocks right here I should say. We want it to line up with that one so I've got to come a little bit forward and that is what it should look like right there. So it can either be right on that line or somewhere near that line but that's about the area where it needs to be. And now in front of the boat, we are just going to place down two temporary blocks. We are going to find ourselves a zombie and we are going to punch him. May want to cover over the villagers so that way nothing happens with the zombie. And now this is not good, but we need to get the zombie in there. We need to, oh, I'm running. Okay, he's in place. He's officially in the boat. Now we just got to fill his hole. 
fill the villagers hole so that way nothing can fall down on top of them remove these temporary blocks down here and it is official we just got to turn it to daytime and we should see an iron golem spawn here any second and if an iron golem doesn't spawn when the sun's about there in the sky all you have to do is just simply come down here remove one of these blocks and there you've got yourself an iron golem you're then just going to have to finish this guy off here with your stone sword or whatever weapon that you do have. Replace these two blocks right here and with the first iron that you've got, make yourself a bucket. Grab yourself a single water source. Completely fill in the hole where the zombies drop down. So you want it to be completely filled and then just give them a water source. As soon as we go back to the surface, you can see we've got an iron golem spawned in here. Now we're just going to go get four more water sources and fill each one of these corners. Once your water source is filled, we now have officially 10 iron on day one. And we've got another iron golem spawned in here. And this is going to be consistent all the way up till 400 items per hour so 300 iron per hour pretty much now as you can see here because of the cramming thing here these iron golems they actually take quite a while in order for them to die so here's how you speed it up now that you got yourself a bucket find yourself a source of lava place two signs one above the other and around this second sign right here we are going to place four more signs now we're just going to jump up above the farm from where we just placed those signs and we're going to place four signs above these four signs. Fill the in between with some lava. Remove all of our dirt blocks starting with the insides here. You want to pay attention for little spots like that so you can see the iron golem spawned right here. So we're going to want to fill this section in right there. Then we're going to off this iron golem by getting him to chase us into the water. Here, bud. And by now, we should have enough iron in order for us to build both a chest and a hopper. And now we just need to recollect all of our lava right here. Tear down all of our signs. Should have let that iron golem get burnt up first. Whoa! Place a hopper in the center there. Rebuild our little shine structure that we just had. And by the end of day one, it is official. You're gonna get your 300 iron per hour. You probably never have to upgrade this thing. Maybe put a chunk loader nearby, but I'll see you guys.